Hello, third grade. It's exciting to think that we're into double digits now, week 10 of our number talk video series. Um, we are spending another week focusing on the multiplication strategy partial products. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, the landmark and friendly numbers, multiplication strategy is not important. Um, it is, but partial products is one because of its connection to distributed property is something you will you will ultimately use um, in your future um, experience in mathematics um, in multiple ways. So let's first look at 824s. We could look at it this way. We could break up the 20, the 20 plus 4. So 820s is 160. 84s is 32, so we have an answer of 192. Or we could use commutative property. We could actually say that we have 24 eights, and we know 8 is the same as 10 lose 2. So 24 tens is 240. 24 twos is 48. If I did 240 lose 48, that's also 192. Those are just two ways. Those are not the only ways. Um, we also have 15 34s or 34 15s. Um, I would be enticed to actually use commutative property first and say, well, 34 10s is 340. And then we know that 5 is half of 10. So if I have 34 5s, well, what's half of 340? That would be 170. So we add those together, and we're left with 510. Again, <laughs> it's not the only way. Um, some of you may look at it and say, well, I'm going to leave it as 15. I'm going to break it up into 30 plus 4, because you'd like to say that 15 threes is 45, so 15 thirties is 450. And then 15 fours is 60, so 450 plus 60 is also 510. We come down and we look at 18 eights. With 18 eights, I actually would probably look at it this way first. I would look at 8 as being 10 lose 2. So 18 tens is 180. 18 twos is 36. If we have 180 and we lose 36, well, 180 lose 30 is 150. Lose 6 would be 144. Or you may say, well, Mr. Harrison, I would actually use commutative property, and I would break it into 10 plus 8. 8 tens is 80, and then 8 eighths is 64. Again, 80 gain 64 is, again, 144. These are not the only ways to use partial products, but these are some different examples of ways you could have broken it down. Again, if you want to fall back to landmark or friendly numbers, I mean, look, think about when you use 20 plus 4. Well, that could have been 10 plus 10 is 20. Up here, you know, you could have made that into 10 plus 10 if you wanted to. You know, use numbers that work for you and then allow those numbers to come together to give you a final solution.